call is now being recorded. Good morning, friends. Today we are going to take up some numerical problems on the topic uh, profits and gains from business and profession under Income Tax Act 1961. Uh, till yesterday, we have spoken and discussed about the provisions, the rules and regulations, expenses which are allowed, which are disallowed, incomes uh, which are uh, to be shown, and so on and so forth. And we got an overview about uh, how this particular uh, provisions related to profits and gains from business and uh, profession should be adopted in solving the problem, numerical problem related to this particular topic. So let's take up some numerical problems. And this is the first numerical problem. So in this particular numerical problem uh, pertaining to uh, the profit and loss uh, of Mr. Vijay uh, for the financial year ending 31st March 2020. 31st March 2020. So the profit and loss is given. The profit and loss is given. It's been provided. And uh, the profit and loss uh, shows that the salaries are to the tune of 180,000 uh, conveyance and so on and so forth. And some adjustments are given. So salaries. So let's discover, discuss about individual items. Uh, of the debit side of uh, profit and loss account and see whether they are allowed or not allowed. Salaries, they are allowed. They are allowed to be shown on the debit side of profit and loss account. Conveyance allowance, yes, it is, uh, conveyance expenditure, it is allowed and it has been shown. Interest on loan, if it is taken for the purpose of the business, yes, it is allowed. Interest on proprietary capital, this is not allowed. This is not allowed and it should not be uh, shown on the debit side of profit and loss account should be added back to the old profit uh, to the profit of five lakhs twenty thousand. Uh, repairs and maintenance, yes, it is allowed. It is allowed. Uh, wealth tax, it's not allowed, and it is shown on the debit side of profit and loss account, so it should be added back to the profit of five lakhs twenty thousand. Interest and penalty on. Uh, wealth tax. This is also not allowed because wealth tax itself is not, not allowed. So if it is shown on the debit side of profit and loss account as it is shown, should be added back to profit. Uh, depreciation. This is allowed. Traveling expenditure is allowed. Life insurance premium. This is not allowed because this is a personal expenditure. This is a personal expenditure. It is not allowed on the debit side of profit and loss account. So it should be added back to profit. This is the profit. Staff welfare expenses, yes, these are allowed because when you are having a business, there are some elements of uh, staff welfare expenditures incurred in the interest of the business. Advertisement expenditure, yes, it is allowed. Now let's look at the items on the credit side of profit and loss accounts, which are generally our incomes. So by dividend from Indian companies, this is income from income from other source. It has no place on in business income. So this is not an income from business uh, or profession. So it should be, this is not to be credited, not to be credited and it should be deducted from, deducted from profit, deducted from this profit. Gift from father. This is also income from other source. It has no place on the credit side of profit and loss account. This income is from other source. So it is not to be created and it is created so it should be deducted from profit from this by lakhs 20,000. In the same way, dividend from cooperative banks, this is income from other source. It should not be shown on the credit side of profit and loss account. So this much amount should be deducted from this profit of 5 lakhs 20,000. So this is about uh, the individual items of profit and loss account. Now let's look about the uh, look out, uh, about the adjustment items. Depreciation. Depreciation is rupees 40,000 as per income tax rules. But if you look here, the depreciation which the SSC has claimed on the and shown on the debit side of profit loss account as expenditure is 35,000. So he was supposed to show 40,000, but he's showing only 35,000. So 5,000 extra expenditure is to be shown. So expenses which are allowed but not claimed, then they should be deducted from profit. So this difference of 40,000 minus 35,000, which is 5,000 depreciation not registered in profit and loss account 
should be deducted from profit because the amount of expenses will increase and the profit will decrease. Number one adjustment. Number two adjustment, traveling expenses include expenses of visiting his native place. So the owner has visited his native place and the profit is 8,000 rupees. So traveling expenses incurred for visiting his native place is personal in nature. So in this traveling expenditure of 27,000, 8,000 will not be allowed. This is a personal expenditure. Personal expenditure, if it is shown on the debit side of profit and loss account, then if there is a mistake, it should be added back to profit. So this 8,000 rupees, which is personal expenditure, should be added back to profit. Medical insurance premium for his wife is rupees 15,000 included in life insurance premium. So this is personal expenditure in nature. So personal expenditure is not incurred for the purpose of the business and uh, you can't claim as an expenditure and it should not be debited to profit and loss account. So in this case, we assume that this life insurance premium is inclusive of this 15,000 rupees, which is personal in expenditure, personal expenditure in nature. So it should be added back to profit. So we have seen all the individual items of debit side, credit side and adjustments. Now it's time to put it in a proper format and find out the real profit and by rectifying the old profit and making some adjustments to the old profit. So now this is the format which we everybody should follow. Uh, so net profit as per profit and loss account is 50 to the one. So you have you can prepare three columns, one, two and three, one, two and three. So this will be the uh, uh, amount which will be placed in the lost column number one. Now you have as far as the problem is concerned, you can have from this problem, we have come across some uh, important heads of items under add items and under less items. So we have now identified A, B as uh, add items, that is uh, the items uh, of which should be added to profit. And we have identified two items which should be deducted from profit, that is C and D. This A is personal expenditure in nature which has been debited to profit and loss account should be added. B is expenses which are not allowed on the debit side of profit and loss account, but shown on the debit side of profit and loss account should be added back. This is B heading. C heading is incomes which should not be shown on the credit side of profit and loss account, but wrongly credited should be deducted from profit. And expenses in deficit than what is allowed should be added back to profit. So under these four headings, all the uh, individual items or sub items can be placed. So let's look upon the look on upon the individual items. So traveling expenses, as already discussed, he visited his native place. So this is personal expenditure in nature. So eight thousand will not be allowed. So added back. Medical premium of his wife. This is also a personal expenditure. This is not to be shown on the debit side of profit and loss account, and it is included in the LAC premium. So this amount is not. So we got only two items under personal expenditure which are not allowed. So if I add, you will get twenty three thousand, which can be placed in the second column. Next one is expenses which are not allowed on the deficit or profit and loss account, which are not expressly, uh, which are expressly disallowed as uh, uh, business expenditures and should not be debited to profit and loss account, but debited to profit and loss account should be added back to profit. So the first item is interest on pro proprietor's capital. This is not allowed, 19 dollars. Wealth tax, this is also not allowed. Interest on wealth tax and penalty on wealth tax, 3000 this is also not allowed. LAC premium paid is also not allowed. So these are the items of expenditures which are not allowed but debited to profit and loss account should be added back. So 19,000, 12,000. So this is, please remember, I have just a small correction. This is personal. You can place this one here, but the total will remain same. This total will remain same. So if I total 19 plus 12, 31, 31, 34 and 89,000. So these two items should be added. So 23,000 plus 89,000, 1 lakh 12,000 should be added as uh, plus items. Now let's look at the items which should be deducted. So we have two headings already discussed incomes which are not uh, income from profits and gains from business or losses, but they are income from other source, maybe from a house property, maybe from salary or maybe from capital gains or income from other source. So in this case, we have identified three items of incomes which are created to profit and loss account, which should not have been created to profit and loss account because they are income from other sources. So one among them is different from Indian uh, companies, a gift for, uh, from father is the second item and by dividend from cooperative banks. These three items should not be shown on the debit side of profit and loss account, sorry, credit side of profit and loss account. So it should be uh, deducted from profit because we are uh, just increasing the profit by adding this income. 
so we have to deduct so 5 plus uh, 51 is 60 60 plus 10 is 70 this is to be deducted so this is a way next one is expenses which are allowed and but not claimed for example in this case depreciation which was supposed to be shown was 40 thousand rupees but the assc has claimed only 35 thousand rupees so the 5 5 thousand rupees can be claimed as an extra expenditure and it should be deduct deducted from profit because expenses will uh, reduce the profit so 70000 plus 5000 is 75000 this uh, amount of 75000 should be deducted so to the profit of uh, 5 lakh 20000 1 lakh 12000 should be added and 75000 will be deducted so the original uh, the correct profit is 5 lakh 77000 so this is profit or gains from business or from business or uh, profession so in this is particularly case of uh, profits from business so this is the way you have to solve the problem now let's take the second problem similar to that of uh, the first problem and the data is related to the year uh, 1920 finan uh, financial year uh, let's solve the problem so you got salaries which is allowed to be shown on the debit side of profit and loss account no problem rent is allowed as a, a genuine business expenditure printing and ex printing expenses are allowed to be shown on the debit side of profit and loss account Advertisement expenses can be shown on the debit side of profit and loss account, so no problem. Motor car expenses, so this is also a genuine business expenditure. Please remember, if they are used, if they are used exclusively for the purpose of a business, it is allowed. Embezzlement, as already uh, discussed in the last class, embezzlement by employees is a loss. It can be shown on the debit side of profit and loss account. Uh, staff welfare expenses are allowed. Purchase of national saving certificate this is personal expenditure this is personal investment i will call it so this is no place in debit side of profit and loss account this is personal in nature so this is not allowed so personal expenditure this will come under the heading of personal expenditure which is not allowed income tax this is also not allowed because we are trying to find out the profit after you find out the profit you have to pay tax if there is a income so these two items are, are not allowed on the debit side of profit and loss account now let's look at the credit side of incomes. So interest accrued on national savings certificate. This is income from other source, not income from business. Gift from father is income from other source, not an income from business. Income from mutual fund is income from other sources and not income from uh, business. Winnings from lotteries is income from well, the last source, that is the fourth source, it is not income from business. So this income should not be shown on the credit side of profit and loss account. It is being shown, so it should be reduced to, pro, uh, to uh, reduce from uh, profit. So individual items of debit side and credit side of profit and loss account have been discussed and we have uh, found out what to be done. Now, let's look at the uh, uh, adjustment items. So depreciation was 28,000 as per uh, Income Tax Act. But how much it has claimed, uh, this uh, guy has shown on the debit side of profit and loss account, 25,000. So 3,000 is uh, uh, the excess uh, which should have been shown but not shown. So it should be less to from profit. This is number one. Number two, staff welfare expenses include staff welfare expenses include medical treatment of employee. Yes, medical treatment of employee can be uh, admissible expenditures. So this is admissible. So that is the note. So staff welfare expenses which are included uh, rupees ten thousand towards medical treatment of an employee. It is a perquisite. Perquisites are allowed. So there is uh, nothing to be done. So it should have been shown. It has been shown. So you have to write a note in the examination that this expenditure is an admissible expenditure. It has been shown on the debit side of profit and loss account. So no problem. Nothing to be done. Rent is paid for residential house. So this rent of 60,000 is for residential purpose, which is personal in nature, not for business. So this should be added back to the profit because this is a personal expenditure in nature. Advertisement expenditure are incurred, uh, incurred for an advertisement in uh, magazine or souvenir of political parties this is not allowed so how much amount is not allowed uh, in this case advertisement expenditure is 5000 rupees this 5000 rupees is not allowed to be shown uh, as an expenditure because this is an inadmissible expenditure and it is not to be shown on the debit side of profit and loss account so with this discussion in background let's solve the problem so so we have identified uh, some heads of income under which uh, these items will fall. So one is personal expenses not to be debited, expenses which are not allowed, incomes which are not incomes under the uh, head, uh, profits and gains from business. And last one is expenses in deficit of the allowed amount to be debited to profit and loss account. 
so purchase of national saving certificate as already told it is a personal expenditure personal expenditure should be added back to profit rent is paid for the residential purpose of the uh, uh, house house so this is also a personal expenditure so this is not allowed so this personal expenditure is totaling to 1 lakh 10 thousand rupees which should be added back to profit expenses which are disallowed expressly under the head uh, uh, profits and gains from business or profession should be and if at all if they are debited should be added back to profit so income tax should not be added, should not be allowed as an expenditure so this is to be added back and advertisement as already told if advertisement is incurred expenses are incurred by placing an advertisement in a souvenir or political parties this amount is not allowed without you know 5000 rupees the full is not allowed. so it should be added back to profit so these two put together under this head will be 17000 so this and this are not allowed the total amount is 110000 plus 110000 plus 27000 is equal to 17000 is equal to 127000 which is not allowed so these are the plus item next one is incomes which are not to be shown under the head income from business so interest on uh, uh, national saving certificate gift from father uh, income from mutual fund business uh, sorry winnings from lotteries these are income from other sources these are not to be shown on the credit side of profit and loss account so they should be reduced as the this is an income not an income this this much that much of income should be reduced to get back to the original profits so this 169000 now in this case one more expenditure was there which was of 28000 but he has claimed only 3000 so thereby he has not shown 3000 extra expenditure so if you show this expenditure the profit will uh, will reduce so this expenses which are allowed but not claimed that amount should be deducted from profit so this is another deduction or reduction so 169000 plus 3000 172000 has to be reduced from the profits so 2 lakhs uh, 9 2 lakhs 90000 from uh, 2 lakhs 90000 we have to reduce uh, 172000 and we have to add 127000 so we will get roughly around uh, 2 lakh 45000 as profit 2 lakh 45000 as profit so this is the real correct uh, profit on which you have to pay tax so this is the way you have to solve the problem now let's take the third problem of the day the third problem of the day the third problem of the day is uh, a profit and loss account for the financial year 2019 to 2020 salaries bad debts written off so this is allowed expenditure salaries are allowed expenditure bad debts written off uh, is a bad debt and when there is a business bad debts are bound to take place this is an allowed expenditure printing expenses are allowed expenditures conveyance is a allowed expenditure general expenses is an allowed expenditure sales tax penalty this is not allowed because you are you have done some mistake for which uh, you are penalized by the appropriate authorities this is not allowed hope this is taken into account fire insurance premium this is allowed wealth tax this is not allowed uh, depreciation is allowed repairs and maintenance are bound to take place in any business so this is allowed so only two items which are not allowed is one is 9000 rupees and one is wealth tax so individual items of debit side have been dealt no time to uh, look into credit side items of profit and loss account income tax refund income tax refund uh, is uh, not an uh, we have to see including interest so income tax refund is already opened income tax and you are getting a refund so this is not an income which should not be shown uh, in the credit side of profit and loss account okay there, if there is any doubt i will uh, clarify it okay so this is uh, not to be uh, this can be shown and you can't claim it now next one is by uta dividend this is income from other source and this is also income from other source they should not be placed under the heading income from profits or gains from business so as far as this one is concerned let me uh, think and i will get back to you income tax refund income tax uh, refund so already he has paid income tax and he's getting a refund of it okay so i will give an appropriate answer uh, in the next session next one is a depreciation as per income tax rules so 22 thousand. so he has to claim only 22 thousand, but he has claimed only 20 thousand so 
this should be and this 2000 should be de deducted from profit excess than what is uh, the normal so general expenses include payment of labor and wages for business rupees 20000 paid in cash i told you if any payment is made in cash uh, in a day to a person more than 20000 in cash then the whole amount of 23000 will be uh, will be not allowed on the debit side of profit loss amount so in this general expenses 23000 is not allowed because i told you that any expenses is paid in the form of cash and the expenditure is more than 20 10000 rupees in a single day to a person then that whole amount will not be allowed to be shown on the debit side of profit loss amount so 23000 will not be allowed number one number two salary includes salary to proprietor so this is uh, this is the salary of 1 lakh 50000 rupees and the salary to proprietor is in, is uh, uh, admissible expenditure so there is no uh, there is no uh, uh, manipulation to be done printing expenses include so you have to just disregard it because this is an expenditure which should be shown and it has been shown appropriately printing expenses include 8000 for printing of marriage of invitations of a marriage invitations of his son so this is a personal expenditure so this print in out of this 11000 rupees 8000 rupees is personal expenditure which should not be shown on the debit side of profit and loss account so it is included it should be added back to profit hope you are clear he paid tuition fees of rupees uh, 15000 for his school uh, going daughter so somewhere in this uh, expenditures one expenditure is there which is uh, personal in nature that is tuition fees you know, to the tune of 15000 rupees which is paid uh, for his school's uh, school fees towards daughter's education so this is not allowed so they, they have not mentioned from which of these expenditures it has been paid so you need not mention but you can just say that this 15000 is not allowed he paid rupees 45000 on education loan taken from bank for his uh, higher education so this is also not allowed this is personal this is also personal expenditure in nature 8000 is personal expenditure in nature 15000 is personal expenditure in nature 45000 is also his personal expenditure in nature so all this have to be adjusted to this one that is uh, to the uh, net profit of 284000 to arrive at the real profit let's take up both take the solution to this so net profit as per profit and loss account is 284000 personal expenses which should not be allowed on the debit side of profit and loss account so printing expenses of rupees 8000 uh, which are uh, uh, towards in, incurred towards marriage invitation cards of his son should be added back to profit tuition fees of the daughter's school 15000 is also not allowed uh, 45000 uh, interest paid for education loan taken for the purpose of higher education of his son also is personal expenditure in nature so this is not allowed the total amount of personal expenditure which is not allowed is 68000 so up to this point this is over expenses which are allowed uh, expressly disallowed on the debit side of profit and loss account but they have claimed uh, uh, this as expenditures so one is so this should be added back sales tax penalty will not be allowed and wealth tax paid also will not be allowed so this 15000 rupees plus general expenses include payment of labor charges in excess of more than 10 10000 rupees in cash will not be allowed the whole amount will not be allowed so 23000 will not be allowed so these three items which are inadmissible expenditures expenses which are expressly disallowed should be added back to profit so 68000 plus 38000 will be added back total 16000 next one is less items Incomes or receipts under which are there are some incomes which are uh, not incomes of profit and loss uh, of uh, 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 profits are gains from business or profession, but there are income from other sources like uh, uh, UTI dividend and a uh, gift from a uh, friend. So these four items, uh, two items put together, fifty thousand will not be uh, allowed to be shown on the credit side of profit and loss account as an income. This is income from other source. There should be reduced from profit. Last item. Depreciation, which was supposed to be shown according to income tax rules, was 22,000, but shown is 20,000. So, this 2,000 should be deducted from profit because they have not claimed this expenditure. If they have claimed this expenditure, the profit would have been reduced. That's the reason why it has been reduced. So, 50,000 plus 2,000 should not be allowed. So, 52,000 should be deducted. So, 284,000 plus 1,6,000 minus 52,000, you will get 3,38,000 as income from business. So, hope you have understood this problem also.
Now, let's take another problem on uh, on income from uh, uh, business or profits and losses from business or profession. So, we have on the debit side and credit side certain items. Let's uh, take on individual note all these items and we'll see whether they are allowed or not allowed. Salaries are allowed to be shown on the debit side of profit and loss upon printing and stationery is also allowed. Convince expenditure is also allowed. Rent is also allowed. Entertainment expenditure is also allowed. Advertisement expenses are also allowed. Depreciation is also allowed. Advanced income tax, this is not allowed because this is income tax itself is not allowed. So advanced income tax will not be allowed. It is not an admissible expenditure. Embezzlement by an employee, yes, there is a loss. It is allowed. Loss donations are not allowed. This 28,000 also is not allowed because donations are not allowed under uh, Income Tax Act 1961 under the head. Profits are gains from income or from business or profession. So, advance income tax and donations are not allowed uh, until so far. Staff welfare expenses are allowed. So, the net profit should be made some adjustments to arrive at the correct adjustment, uh, correct net profit. Now, let's look at the credit side of the income, uh, debit side, credit side of profit and loss account. Winnings from lotus, this is not income from this uh, uh, particular source of business. So, this is income from other source. National Savings Certificate Interest, this is also income from other source. Dividend for Indian Company, this is also income from other source. This should not be shown on the credit side of profit and loss account. If it is shown, it should be deducted from profit. So these three have to be deducted. These two have to be added. So until so far, these are the manipulations you have to do. Rectifications we can do. Depreciation allowable, un allowed under Income Tax Act uh, 1961, what? 35,000. But how much he has claimed? He has claimed only. 32,000. So this 3,000 should be deducted from profit. Half of the rent is attributable towards residential flat because this half of the rent is a, a, person, uh, is a personal expenditure. So in this 24,000, 12,000 is personal. So this 12,000 should be added back to profit because this is not a uh, revenue expenditure related to business. This is a personal expenditure and personal expenditure has no place in profit and loss account and they are un not allowed. Staff welfare expenses include rupees 15,000 incurred for a wife's medical treatment. So, wife's medical treatment is a personal expenditure. So, 15,000 is personal expenditure. From this uh, staff welfare of 65,000, 15,000 has to be deducted because this is not a uh, revenue expenditure related to business. So, it should be deducted. We spent rupees 100 for purchase of lottery. So, this expenditure is personal expenditure in nature. So, it should be uh, added back to profit. And we don't know from where. Uh, item so he has uh, spent from these items so they should be added back okay let's take the answer so profit as per profit last account is two lakh eighty nine thousand so two lakhs ninety five thousand personal expenses should be added back so rent is to be added back as just now uh, discussed staff welfare expenses include rupees fifteen thousand incurred for wife's rehabilitation medical rehabilitation so 15000 should be personal uh, considered as personal expenditure and not revenue expenditure of the business so this should be added back so 27000 needs to be added back now expenses expressly disallowed on the debit side of profit and loss account so advance income tax should be uh, uh, added back because they are not allowed donations are not allowed should be added back so 10000 plus 28000 will be added back so 38000 are not admissible expenditures so personal expenditure which is not ad, uh, admissible and admissible expenditure inadmissible expenditures up to the tune of 38,000. So that should be added back. The total amount is 65,000. Hope you have understood this uh, till uh, this stage. Incomes or receipts which are uh, not under the head of income, profits are gains from business, but they are related to any other source of incomes. In this case, winning from lotteries in uh, interest uh, earned on NSC that is national saving certificate and dividend income should not be uh, shown on the credit side of profit and loss account so they should be deducted from profit so 35000 should be deducted from profit and uh, depreciation was 35000 which was to be shown but he has only shown 32000 so 3000 amount should be deducted so the deductions are 38000 and the additions are 65000 so if you add 295000 plus 65000 it is 2 lakh 360000 360000 minus 38000 this is the 3 lakhs 22,000 is the income from business. Next one. Next one is, in, uh, let's take another problem on the subject uh, 
profit and loss from business. So, so debit side is given, credit side is given. Opening stock is allowed, purchases are allowed, office and uh, office salaries are allowed, advertisement is allowed, bad debts return uh, are allowed. So no no problem. Uh, fire insurance premium is allowed. Conveyance is allowed. But this is not allowed. Please remember, this is not allowed because interest cannot be charged by the proprietor himself. This is 25,000. If interest is uh, is paid on loan taken, this is allowed. But uh, proprietor himself can't charge on his own capital interest. So this will not be allowed. General expenses are allowed. Wealth tax is not allowed. This is not allowed. Sales tax penalty imposed by uh, sales tax department also is not allowed. So these three items should not be allowed on the debit side of profit and loss account. Next one. Let's look at the credit side items of profit and loss account or trading account and profit and loss account. Income tax refund, I told you I will get back to you about this particular point or you can find Google search and find out. Dividend from uh, UTI, if this is not to be shown on the uh, as credit uh, income on the business, but this is income from other source and this lot is also is income from other source, they should be deducted from profit. Okay, hope you understood this, till this time, these uh, items. General expenses include income tax of 10,000 and 500 rupees per purchase of lotteries. So, so this uh, income tax is not allowed. Purchase of lotteries is also not allowed. So, this 10,000 and 5,000 should be added back to profit. Depreciation allowable as per pro income tax exit is 25,000. So, depreciation he has taken 30,000, but he has to show only 25,000. He has claimed more than what it was. So, this 5,000 is excess in. Uh, than what he was supposed to, so it should be added back to profit. Now, purchase include 80,000 paid for, ca uh, for cash purchase exceeding 20,000 rupees. So, purchases include 80,000 rupees for cash purchases uh, for cash purchases exceeding the limit of 20,000. So, this rule has changed. Okay, this is 10,000 from assessment here. Okay, so this 80,000 which is paid in cash for the purchase of uh, goods is not allowed. Is uh, not allowed. Please remember this is very important. If you are paying uh, towards any expenditure uh, cash and that cash payment is more than 10,000 rupees in a particular day to a particular person, to a single person, then the whole amount is not allowed on the uh, debit side of profit and loss account. So in this 34,000, 80,000 will not be allowed because there is a scope for creation of black money. And this is under the subsection A3 of Income Tax Act 1961. Next one is bonus. Office salaries include bonus due but not paid. So if you have if you have declared but not paid, so this will not be allowed in this current year. So this should be expenditure, uh, which is uh, salary, uh, including including included in salary bonus of uh, sixteen thousand five hundred. So this will not be allowed on the debit side of profit and loss account. Now, Mr. Sonawane, who is physically handling the cap, having has taken a LAC policy of uh, fifteen thousand rupees. So. Uh, we are assuming that uh, in these expenditures, uh, one expenditure is incurred for taking LIC policy for, uh, towards which he paid a premium of 50,000. This is personal expenditure nature and it should not be shown on the debit side of profit and loss account. So, with this discussion, let's take uh, the solution. So, the net profit as per profit and loss account is 50,000. So, expenses, which uh, personal expenses, we don't have any personal expenses. Yes, we have. Uh, of course, we have. Let's see. I've forgotten. So this 15,000 rupees, uh, which is uh, so now on as LIC premium should not be allowed. So please remember this one. I have not included. So please remember to include this 15,000 rupees. So I have added 15,000 rupees for LIC premium. LIC premium 15,000 rupees, 15,000 rupees. So we have included. Uh, interest on, on own capital is not allowed. So it should be added back. Admi not an admissible expenditure. Wealth tax is not an admissible expenditure. Sales tax penalty levied by the department is not admissible expenditure. Advanced income tax is not allowed and you are purchasing lottery tickets. This expenditure is not allowed. Uh, if you are paying in cash uh, to a vendor and the cash payment is more than 10,000 rupees, then that whole amount will not be allowed. So 80,000 is not allowed. Salaries include bonus and the bonus is not yet paid, but he has claimed already. So this is also not allowed. So 1,41,000 plus 15,000. So until so far, we got these two items 
Now, another expenditure is, see, depreciation, which was supposed to be shown under the income tax rules is 25,000, but how much he has shown? 30,000. So, this 5,000 will reduce the profit. So, it should be added back. So, another 5,000 should be added back under the head ex expenses in excess of the allowed. So, 15,000, 1,41,000 and 5,000 is, uh, this I will make a small correction. This is 1,61,000, 1,61,000. Okay. Next one, dividend is income from other source, lotteries are income from other source. So this uh, this is 1,60,000. This is uh, the incomes which have to be deducted. Hope you have understood it. So 250,000 rupees, you have to uh, add 1,61,000 rupees, that will become 2,11,000. From this 2,11,000 deduct 1,60,000. So your income from business is only 51,000. Next one, last, another problem, another problem for uh, the day on profit and loss account is being given for a financial year and uh, the debit items and the credit items, salaries are allowed, rent is allowed, postage is allowed. I'm little bit, going a little bit fast, so hope you will not mind it because we have taken up so many problems. Now you are conversant with all the uh, ways of handling the problem. Advertising uh, is allowed, repairs to office is allowed, this is allowed. Income tax is not allowed. This is not an admissible expenditure. Expenses in connection with scrutiny case in income tax. This is not allowed. Number two, fees paid to CA for income tax is allowed. Miscellaneous expenses are allowed. Donations are not allowed. So 30,000 for income tax and income tax scrutiny expenditure 4,000 is not allowed and donations are not allowed. Uh, let's look at the, the credit side. Interest accrued is income from other source. Dividend from Indian income is income from other source. Winning from lotteries is income from other source. Interest and the ventures is also income from other source. Now let's look at the adjustment items. Salaries include bonus paid to employees which are due, which are not paid before the date of filing. So 30,000 is not allowed because these are not yet paid before the date of filing of income tax returns. Rent is paid towards residential. So this rent of 20,000 is personal expenditure in nature. Repairs to office include a one-time cash payment of 20,000 on. So out of this, he should have paid. Um, he should have paid in uh, paid in the form of uh, demand draft or uh, account paycheck or on uh, on uh, internet banking. But he has paid in cash more than 10,000 rupees to a single party on a single day. It is not allowed. Miscellaneous expenses incurred purchase of shares of Indian company for. Uh, this is capital investment and capital investment should not be shown on the debit side of profit and loss account so please remember this okay if at all if i have not placed it you just remember depreciation as per income tax rules is 4000 so you should have shown 4000 he has shown 5000 1000 is not an admissible expenditure so just a moment i forgot so uh, please remember this 20000 rupees is a capital expenditure so if, i don't know whether i have shown it or not but we just uh, oh, you just uh, remember it so 20000 i have not shown i forgot to show so capital expenditure towards purchase of first shares is not an expenditure of business is a capital expenditure should be added back should be added back so this 20000 is to be added back number one personal expenditure in nature which is rent 20000 should be added back next one is expenses which are not allowed like donations Salaries uh, which include bonus and this bonus is due uh, and not paid before the data frame is not allowed. Uh, ex expenses in uh, excess than allowed. For example, you should have shown on the debit side of profit and loss account depreciation to the tune of 4,000, but he has shown 5,000. So this is not allowed. So if you add 20,000 plus 20,000 plus 50,000 plus 10,000, it will become 91,000. So I will change because I have not acknowledge this capital risk, uh, payment. So 91,000 is to be added back. Now incomes which should be deducted. So incomes which should be deducted is, is 10,000 because it is income from other source. Dividend is income from other source. And interest on debentures is an income from other source. And winnings from lotteries also is income from other source. So 50,000 is the uh, expenses which are to be deducted. Incomes which have to be deducted. So 50,000 minus 50,000 is uh, uh, 300 plus 71,000. The income from house uh, business is 71,300. Now let's take another problem. 
let's take another problem okay, sir okay we will just ignore it okay now uh, there are some incomes uh, uh, profit and loss account of mr shivaji for the financial year ending 31st march 2019 20 sorry 19 2019-20 is the income st income statement that is profit and loss account salaries are allowed rent is allowed postage is allowed stationery is allowed advertisement is allowed repairs to office is allowed convenience is allowed income tax is not allowed expenses connection with income tax case is not allowed this is not allowed uh, income tax fees paid to chartered account this is allowed miscellaneous expenses is allowed depreciation is allowed donations are not allowed so these three items are not allowed interest on uh, national savings certificate income uh, income tax event i have told you that you can google search a dividend is an income from other source and price uh, winnings from any games is not allowed uh, this is an income from other source these three are income from other source salaries pay up include pay, um, bonus payable to employees under the payment of which was not paid so this 18000 is not yet paid so it should not be allowed to be shown on the debit side of property loss account rent is paid for the residential or property this is also not allowed repairs of 21000 were paid in cash so i told you this is 2019 okay so this is also not allowed if any payment which is paid in excess of 10000 rupees in cash is not allowed and the condition is in ex, in one in, a, in on a single day on it to a single uh, uh, person miscellaneous expenditure include purchase of furniture of rupees 20000 on which depreciation is not recorded so miscellaneous includes 20000 uh, furniture so this is a capital expenditure this is 20000 rupees should not be shown on the debit side of property and loss account because this is a, cap a capital expenditure so however on this 20000 rupees depreciation should be claimed now we will see what is the depreciation rate Depreciation allowable under the income tax rule is 3000, but how much he has shown this guy? 4000. So 3000 should be shown. He has shown only, he has shown more than 3000 by 4000. So 4000 by plus 1000 extra. So it should be deducted. Similarly, depreciation at the rate of 10% should be provided for other. So in this case, this is referred to this one uh, because on this 20,000 he has not claimed uh, depreciation. So let's solve the problem. So Let's solve the problem. The problem, the solution. Solution. So, hope uh, the solution also is understood by the given explanation. And uh, thank you so much for patience listening. And I will take up some more uh, sessions on uh, forthcoming uh, uh, forthcoming topics like a uh, TDS and advanced tax and uh, other topics which are left out thank you so much for your patience listening have a nice day bye bye take care